Hello my soccer universe. Unfortunately I'm starting to pick up a cold so please excuse my sniffing if I should have any. It's just I'm trying to keep it all together. Um, yeah, the international break is over. We see I have all the club shirts, not all the club shirts, but you know, of every team that I have at least one. Some have more. Lask is with four. Some are with two shirts and I have three new colors added in there I think the light blue of Napoli the pink of the last third jersey in Europe and the navy of Manchester City all new jerseys that I have and now I think it looks a little bit more colorful but I have to say overall I like the background for the international break a lot better it was a lot more colorful uh, and that's the reason why I'm wearing the third Barcelona jersey that I have here not only is Barcelona when we look at what to watch for, I think features heavily this one of the must watch games uh, this weekend, but I didn't want to take down. I'm, I was initially thinking of wearing the Napoli or the Lusk jersey, but I thought I need to keep the color splashes up there. Even if I would wear the City jersey, it would not look quite right. Of course, uh, for Italy, here we have Italy, Serie A, here we have Spain, and here we have a Premier League, and the jerseys are ordered by the current standings. So yeah, that's where it goes. Uh, I've made before the international break a what to watch for during the international break. Maybe I should do something like that every Friday morning. Have to see how it if it will work out. Maybe I do this regularly to make a what to watch for for the upcoming weekend and maybe even uh, for the week because not only do we have the week coming, uh, the domestic leagues coming up, but we also have Champions League starting and Europa League so you know there's lots uh, that's coming up but from what I see already um, you know the league games this week are a little bit um, yeah a little bit I don't want to say like what what we had in the international break but there's, there's not this really one matchup that you have to see except maybe what we'll see for Barcelona and yeah, this weekend is also exciting for me because thanks to my father, I will be able to watch the Premier League. He helped me set that up for me. So thanks, Dad. Very happy uh, to be back in business on the Premier League as well. So if I see a Premier League match that I want to watch now, I can and probably will. Uh, let's run through the leagues and I'm just gonna go in no particular order. I want to start out in Spain where, yeah, Friday Mallorca Athletic Club could be interesting, but you know, if you want to, if you look at the big guys, Real Madrid Levante is the early game on Saturday. Mm, yeah, should be an easy win. Should. Real Madrid as of late is never. Real Sociedad Atletico Madrid, um, could be interesting, has an overlap. This Saturday um, early evening spot is one that I see already will be quite busy for me, and so I will probably not watch that one. But Barcelona Valencia at 9 o'clock, that seems to be one uh, to watch for, especially since Valencia now fired a coach, which they almost fired last season, then he turned around, won the cup for them, and now kind of weird towards the end of the international break to fire the coach. I mean, you usually you fire at the beginning to have enough time to search for a new coach, maybe get the team acquainted again. So that was a weird one. So that for me is probably the game of the weekend, I have to say. Probably. We have to see others. You see already going. Sunday, mm, there is not really... Alaves, Sevilla could be interesting. Uh, Real Betis, Getafe, nah. Yeah, maybe that, that, that one has a chance as well. Now that I look at the standings also, uh, Real Madrid, Levante, that's actually neighbors in the table. So maybe, maybe that's not and, and Alaves, uh, Sevilla also, you know. One thing is to go by the names, the other one by the standings, although the standings are very early. But match day four in Spain, I think, is all about Barcelona Valencia. It's such a classic matchup between two really big teams. I mean, Valencia is not as big as Bar Barcelona, but it's definitely among the biggest teams in Spain. Then, Premier League. Uh, after we had a few matches where we had all big clashes, 
I think by name, but not by standings. Liverpool Newcastle at 1.30 on Saturday is probably already the biggest one, but to be honest, I see nothing but a very clear Liverpool win. Manchester City, Leicester City is probably the one that uh, that would be my pick out of those here. Um, given that Leicester had had a really good start of the season, all the whole Harry Maguire thing, so that uh, definitely sounds interesting. Wolves Chelsea could be. Uh, it's at the same time. Again, 6-3, Norwich City, Manchester City. Mm -hmm. I don't think Norwich will put any ups pull any upset there, so I don't really see it. And then the Sunday games, Bournemouth, Everton, Watford, Arsenal, and even Aston Villa, West Ham. I mean, that's an interesting jersey match, probably. But as I said, I think it's probably Manchester City, Leicester City. That's the, uh, Manchester United, Leicester City. And with all those cities in there, I'm going a little bit nuts. So that's probably the most interesting one in the Premier League this weekend. Uh, Serie A. I'm looking at two matches, which happen on Saturday, which is Fiorentina Juventus at three. It's the home game for Fiorentina, for Fiorentina. So maybe there is something in there again. Clear Juve win should be there. Uh, and another one, a real fun team to watch. And look at the spot, 6 o'clock Saturday. That might be my B match, but um, not not sure how much I will see Napoli against Sampdoria. Um, I would expect a clear Napoli win, especially with the bad start that Sampdoria had. And Napoli really being a great team to watch. I saw the first two Napoli games, they were both games to talk a lot about. In Tordinese in the evening has no chance against Barcelona, uh, Valencia. Sunday, uh, for me it's all about the late game, Verona against Milan. Um, other than that, so and so, Genoa Atalanta is the early one, leaves me cold, Brescia, Bologna, Parma, Cagliari, maybe, Spal Lazio, Roma, Sassuolo could be interesting, the Monday night game is Torino, Lecce, even think he Hellas against Milan is not that crazy, but you know I'm a Milan fan, so I think Sunday evening um, I'll be watching that game. So have already that. And you never know what happens um, if I'm zapping around or I have a Sunday in the afternoon what match I will land on. Uh, let's check quickly in the Bundesliga. Uh, Friday evening, Düsseldorf Wolfsburg. Was initially a match I said a little bit sneer, sneer that, but Wolfsburg has a good start. Dusseldorf, yeah, is mid table, has only one win, but uh, given all the last connections, that might be an interesting one. Uh, probably, I have to say, the Friday night games in the Bundesliga very often uh, supersede for me the ones of uh, La Liga. So that I have to say. Union Werder, yeah, I think they, I could. Imagine on Saturday to watch the Bundesliga um, conference call to see all those games at 3.30. Leipzig, Bayern, that's another 6.30 or 30 game. Have to honestly say, uh, more interesting to me than even Napoli Sampdoria. So that would be my 1B game. The 1A game I will sh uh, show you in a bit. Uh, Hoffenheim, Freiburg, Paderborn, Schalke. Yep, that's the su uh, Sundays. Don't think I will tune into one of these. And uh, League uh very unlikely. I mean, Amir Lyon, I looked at a few matches. Uh, PSG against Strasbourg, I'm interested in, but it's exactly at a time where I won't be watching it um, because of the what Neymar, the reception Neymar will be getting. Brest Rennes, uh, Breton Derby is interesting. Not Reims on Sunday. Yeah, I think from the name Monaco Marseille at nine o'clock on Sunday, but then again, there is Milan. Uh, now I've been talking a lot about this, uh, Saturday early evening, uh, slot. The game that I will be watching starts at five o'clock. So I have a chance to watch, uh, Leipzig against Bayern, which is Sturm Graz against Lask. Uh, I will have the joy to watch Lask. I know Austrian Bundesliga is not that great on TV, but you know, if I have the chance, I, Probably should watch this one uh, for sure and then switch over either to the Napoli or the Bayern game. I actually think the Bayern game sounds more interesting and I cannot believe I'm saying this. A lot more fun will probably be Napoli to watch. So other than that in Austria, um, not that much interesting stuff happening. That's really the matchup of the weekend and since I'm from Austria, that's the one that I want to watch. We also have the Champions League come, coming up and the Europa League. Uh, in the Champions League, I think... Tuesday, there are two matchups that stand out. That's Napoli, Liverpool. That's Dortmund, Barcelona. I would say Chelsea, Valencia, kind of, and Ajax, Lille, because an interesting group, but nothing really 
uh, outstanding. Uh, and on Wednesday, I think PSG Real Madrid sounds like a great plan. Don't you agree with me? Atletico Madrid against Juventus, uh, a second. Again, I will have the chance to probably watch a conference call between those games, so I might not have to choose. But if I have to choose, uh, I think those would be the choices. Uh, in the Europa League, early game will be last, and the late game, I let myself surprise. I probably also will watch a uh, conference to kind of have a switch around. So that's where we're going with uh, this weekend. <sighs> yeah, it's. As I said, uh, there are two standouts, now three stands, standouts for me, I have to say. Uh, that's the last game. That's Leipzig Bayern. That's a huge matchup. I have to, I have to say that's first against second, and then Barcelona Valencia because it's a big matchup in Spain. Uh, maybe I'll watch early on Saturday uh, United Leicester, and then Sunday I'll let myself surprise in which Serie A game I will be tuning in and uh, take it from there. I know that Sunday evening, I probably sound there will be a more or less a Serie A day for me. Let me know what you'll be watching, uh, what matches you're looking for. I mean, again, fandom always supersedes usually big matches, so I will f f totally understand that. Drop a comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see my, the reviews of these games or any of my jersey reviews or whatever. I will probably plan on a Champions League jersey review starting early next week. Maybe I'll shoot that on Sunday in the evening or Sunday afternoon. First few. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.